Well, salute to Mondo there, chums. I'm in Starfield. I guess I am. It's very bright where I am right now. And we're going to be pressing on with doing some scans of the old system. But we have actually finished doing the soul system right now, people. And I'm going to be looking at maybe revisiting here. But rather than doing Alpha Centauri, actually going to Ptolemain, which is really freaking finicky to actually select, isn't it? There you go, Ptolemain. So we're going to go to Ptolemain, but I'm going to do a whole episode, people, of me just scanning the planet and everyone. Just one episode for the whole freaking system. So here you go, let's have a look at the system. Let's see what we've got here inside of Ptolemain. So there's not much to be scanned here, so I'm going to be scanning Ptolemain itself, which has fauna and flora i'm going to be doing the moons which don't have flora or fauna by the looks of things nope and there's one other planet over inside of this system again has no fauna or flora la, 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 la. yeah that stuff anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reconvene at the best bits of this whole system okay right on. so i'm going to spin this round and we land in this on the light side of the planet to start off with. I mean, this is the most exciting one, isn't it? Because it's it's got creatures on this planet. So it's got a couple of biomes as well. So I'll be landing about there. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, anyway, I'll let you know if I find anything cool. I always love it when you're coming in for a landing on a planet that has vegetation on it. Just so you can sort of look around. I can already see a bird creature just flying underneath me now. Look, it's just going to come out. There it is. Just come out from under my icon. Righto, let's, uh, let's exit the old ship. Oh, there's creatures freaking everywhere. Every ecosystem has its own unique challenges. Hostilities that life conquered to just exist. We should take notes. We should indeed, you're quite right. Look at us. We can breathe this air. It's livable, this is great. I haven't been on a planet that has life for such a long bloody time. All well, these are level 15 creatures as well. Wait, come here, you. All right, well, I'm, I've got a lot to scan here, people. So this is probably going to be the most awesomest of planets. I'm going to be taking photos on this one as well, people. What the fudge is that? It's a freaking dinosaur. Heck yes. Well, I'm going to get pictures of these guys. Oh, look, they're in combat right now. This uh, horny git is battering this dinosaur turtle. It looks like a raptor turtle. Oh, I love it. That's really cool. All right, well, we'll take a picture of that. Brilliant! Eh? Well, you've seen one of my photos. Anyway, I reconvene after I've scanned a lot of the stuff here. I'll bring you my top tips for this planet as well. It's like there might be some creatures by the coastline in water. We will see. Okay, well, I've arrived at a point of interest on this planet. Now, of course, these are random, so you might get different points of interest, but I've got to scan a few of these blue areas. Oh, there we go, done. I did come across a weird frog-like creature that was just the opposite side of this rock. I don't know whether there's going to be any others there. Oh, look at that. I've been tra tracked by this guy. Hello, buddy. That's fun. Yeah, they, they can be quite aggressive, them things. Oh, look, there's a couple more over there. Let's see if we can catch up with these guys. Let's go see if we can scan those. Oi! Oh, no, these are Terramorphs. Uh-oh. I don't think we can scan Terramorphs. We've just got to do combat with Terramorphs. Oh. Take that Terramorph in the freaking face! He went underground. Where'd he go? Take that, Terramorph. No one likes you, Terramorph. You're an evil git, Terramorph. Freaking have it. Freaking die. Oh, yes. I know how this ends. Yeah, shoot them, Barrett. Shoot them. There's one down. Maybe not. Shoot it in the face. Barrett, there you go. Oh, I love this part. He went underground, Barrett. Barrett, he's gonna jump out at you any second now, mate. Just um keep your wits about thee. There he is. 
just ignores Barrett, goes after me. I see how that works. Get him, Barrett! Get him! I think I shot Barrett more than the Terran more. Oh dear, he got me there. Ouch, and again. We got him. I'll teach you, get back. Right, back to scanning. I could do with maybe giving Barrett some sort of throwing object, like a grenade or something, you know? That might help. Yeah, I might have to do that, actually. Yeah, right, Barrett. Anyway, we're heading towards this sort of point of interest over on yonder hill. And hopefully hit up the second POI. Okay, well, I've arrived to to another point of interest. And it's, it's got these gnarly weird roots sticking up all over the place. Bear a few of these. These are quite easy to spot to scan because they look like giant freaking terror horns or something. There you go, done. I don't know what terror horns are, by the way, people. I just made that word up. It sounds lovely, doesn't it? Right, okay. Well, um, I don't want to go in that water. You know, whenever you come across water in this game, it's either going to be... What the fudge? Oh, Barrett, you scared the living shite out of me. I wonder what the fudge you was. Yeah, right, okay. Let's head on this way. Yeah, they're either super shallow, the waters. Or um, you're going to drown. Okay, there's another one of them. Okay, I'm on 67% complete on these guys. There's still a few more to go. Okay, something to note, chumps. There's one big bird and there's one little bird. They're two separate species. So there's two flying types. I've completely scanned all the flying types now, people. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could see these up close, wouldn't it? In the side of some sort of dossier or catalogue or something. You can see something blue over on yonder hill over here. I think that's one of those other hunting trapmen, or more, or whatever you want to call them. There you go. I'm on 50% now. Well, that's weird. Oh, the last one I scanned, it said 67%, unless there's two species of hunting creature. They're freaking vicious, though. That one's bloody nasty. Alright, anyway, I'm still heading over towards another point of interest right now, people. The freaking growls of those creatures are sinister, mate. And I, I did find, like I say, some frog-like looking creatures. I scanned two of them and I haven't seen any more. And there's like a little armadillo-like creature. And I've scanned like about four of them. But um, I need to get more of those as well. So it's the fauna that's causing me an issue. The flora and the minerals are really easy on this planet, people. Okay, well, it looks like I'm coming up on another point of interest. Okay, pull it out. Pow, scan that. There's the other one over there. Done. So I've got all the points of interest. So now it's just creatures, really, people, that I need to get scanned now. Did I see something blue over this way? Yes. Here's a lot of those little sort of weird creatures, I think. Oh, no. They said weird creatures. There's lots of dead people. Uh-oh. Look at them. They're all doing weird yoga poses. Oh, you well, poor guy. they don't need it now. No, they, they really don't, do they? Penicillin. I don't think we need anything else from that guy. Well, what a shame. Okay, I don't think anyone's left alive. Ouch. Not good. They got mullered. Right, well, you know what? I might go somewhere else on this planet and uh, see if I can find some more wildlifes. So let's have a quick look at it. So the area that i just done was here and that was what exactly um if i click again that was sort of like mountainous area i believe um not that it's really telling me now oh there, there is ocean so if i can find coastline mountains and coast we go there we'll see if there's any underwater creatures at the coastline Okay, chums, these are the um, weird frog creatures I was on about. And a Terramorph has killed a load, so that helped a little bit. Just don't want the Terramorph to kill me. Okay. But yeah, that's what the frog creatures look like. We've got another one of these guys here. Scan him. Oh, there's the Terramorph. 
Watch out, little guy! Sorry. Shot him in the face trying to get the Terra Morph. Oh yeah, the bird's come to help me. Get him, bird! Yes, you're on fire now, Terra Morph. Woo-wee! That was fun! Yeah, so we've got a lot of freaking creatures with bullet now. Yeah, these are the frog creatures, like I was saying. I don't know how many more I've got to scan of these. I'm on 83%, so hopefully not too many more. I haven't managed to find the coastline. I mean, I've touched down by the coast, but can I find the water? No. Okay, chums, well, I've made it to the coastline. Thank you, yes, I have. So we'll have a look see if there's any water creatures here. Okay, these look like those little frog creatures, the Tusker frogs. These these um, horny guys seem to have killed a load. They don't seem to have, be having a very good time, those frog creatures on this planet. They seem to get murdered by everything. Yeah, go on. Well, I didn't murder any. Not guilty. Righto. Um, fishes? Any fishes? Let's just walk the coast and let's see if we spot any fish. I'll let you know if I spot any fishes, but I should do because... I'm only on five of eight right now, so I'd imagine there's some sort of water critter. There's also those little mini armadillos that seem to be really frickin' rare. I call them armadillos, they're more trilobite-y, you know? Look a little bit like what was on one of the very first planets you ever went to. Anyway, I'm not seeing any fish yet. They might be daytime fish or something, you know, I've had that happen before. Okay, I've spotted something blue. Um, I'm not too sure what it is, though. Aha! It's two of those little guys that I was on about. The little trilobite guys. Look. There we go. We've got two of those. So at least they live near the coast as well. I mean, we found these inland last time, people. I still haven't come across any bloody fish, though. Which is weird. But like I say, I've, I've come to the coast in the daytime before on some planets. And you get what's called sunfish. And they only come out when the sun's out. I mean, there could be moonfish on this one. Who freaking knows? There might be your nocturnal creatures. So, yeah, I keep looking. I'll let you know when I come across the other species of fauna. Okay, I think I've spotted a whole load more of those trilobites. Yes, we have. We've spotted some more of those trilobites. I think there's at least three of them here. Again, still not come across any sea creatures. I might have to go to maybe the light side of the planet because I think this is now night time. Go to the night, I mean the day coast. I'm obviously not finding anything here in the daytime. So let's spin this around. So this is the light side of the planet now. I want to go somewhere around, maybe up here. Swamp coast. There we go. We might even find some swamp minsters. Oh wow, the swamps look freaking awesome. Look at the colour of the trees here. That's freaking great. I love the actual colour of the ground as well. This is definitely, all, well, kind of base worthy, isn't it? Put a little outpost here. Live amongst all of this. Heck, why not? That'd be nice. Anyway, I'm here to scan creatures and wildlife and trying to find the coastline. It's not always easy to find the coastline. Oh, hold on. There's another creature there that I haven't got. What the fudge is that? Let's get over there. Let's have a quick look-see. It looks like another one of them frog creatures. I've got all the frog creatures. Don't say there's two species of frog creature. Exhilarating, isn't it? Oh, there you go. To be the first person to scan these things. Um, yeah, I guess so, Barrett. Oh, pretty darn cool. I wonder if the uh, coastline's over this way. There's birds flying over this way. What the actual flying fudge? What are you shooting at, Barrett? What have you seen, Barrett? Barrett, I, I don't know what you're shooting at. What's he shooting at? What? What's the flying fudge, Barrett? Holy shite! I wasn't ready for that, no. It was like it was invisible for like 10 seconds. Or underground, they burrow, don't they? I still haven't given Barrett grenades. Shite. I'm out of freaking ammo. Good old trusty. Take that. Freaking have it, mate. Yeah, don't have to worry about ammo with this thing. Go on, set it on fire. You know you want to. Set it on freaking fire. Die! 
Damn you! It's gonna kill me at this rate. No! Oh god, you gotta put that away to use your medipack. It's bloody full, full BS, mate. Ah! I'm actually moving around in my chair. Frickin' have it. Did we get him? Did we get him? Is he dead? I don't think he is. The music's still evil. Get him, Barrett! He's all yours! Oh, oh my head. Get him, Barrett! Oh, oh, you get back! Okay. All oh, right, now I'm out of freaking ammo on that, on my favourite gun. All right, I'll just swap to this for a bit then. Holy fudge. Okay, I'm looking for the coastline. And we're still looking for more fauna on this planet. We've got seven out of eight now, though. Righto, well, I'm back at the coast and it's daytime. It's a bit freaking foggy. And this is the swampy coast. And I am not seeing... Any uh, sea dwelling creatures? Now, I've been at this for a little while, not seeing any at all. I'll give it five more minutes, and then what I might do is try to have a look see if this planet's got any other biomes, like maybe a frost biome or something like that, on the poles, because it might be that there isn't any sea creatures. And then again, something must have killed these. Oh, it was that guy over there. All right, fair enough. And I think there are two types of hunter. Not just the horned hunter, but there is another hunting creature on this planet. The one that makes the horrible screaming sounds. So I'm just going to walk out here and see if I can spot anything. If I can't spot anything here, like I say, I'm going to try to see if there's any other biomes on this planet. Because right now, I honestly don't think there's much in the water. Normally when you come down to the beaches, if there are anything in the water... You usually spot it relatively quickly. Oh, that was a massive frame drum, wasn't it? Drop, I should say. Yeah, um, I'm not seeing any creatures in the water here, people. All right, so I'm going to try a different biome. OK, up on the top of this planet, there is actual frozen plains. So we're going to go there and have a look, see if we can find the last remaining fauna there. Right, well, I've been looking around for ages inside of the frozen area. And I'm not finding anything new here. There's quite a lot of those freaking dodgy creatures, those terror morphs. But then other than that, not much else going on, to be honest. Right, eh? I'm going to try somewhere else. Okay, so here's the second type. It's the hunting attrapment. It you looks similar. There. Oh, you beat me to it. Yeah, I did, didn't I? It looks similar to the other one. I mean, it died. Take that then. So I need to find more of that one. So I guess it's not a sea creature. We've got to scan that git. So I've got to find more of the hunting type nasty things. I mean, there's. I don't want to f go up against a terror morph over there. Okay, let's just keep an eye out for more of those hunting trapmen. I mean, they usually find me anyway. I've come across a couple of them now. They're vicious little knits. Okay, here's one in action. Let's get a photo. Wow, look at that for a photo. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? I wonder which one's going to win. Oh, he whipped him with his tail. Did you see that? Oh, he took out that one. Oh, oh, he's down. Go on, go on, go on. You can get him, get him, get him. Oh, he headbutted him. Freaking nice one, mate. You freaking won. Yeah, we'll take all that then. Sweet, so that's what I need to find. I need to find more of these guys, okay? There we go. What are we on? We're on 83. Now, they make these weird noises, and sometimes they even make the screen shake when they're hunting. Ah, oh, look, there's one over there. Yeah, they make these weird wow noises like that. Yeah, I'm good at making noises. There we go. We're 100% surveyed the planet, people. There were no fish creatures. No fish creatures. Heck yes. Quick save. Quick Dave. Let's get back to my shippity ship. Heck yes. Fast travel. Come on. 
Fast travel, fast travel, any time now. Dang it! Okay, sod it. And I, I'll just do it this way. Right, so we've done Tola Main 2. Alright. So you know what? Since I've done Tola Main 2, this is Tola Main 1 over here. It hasn't really got much going on for it, really, has it? I'll just jump over to here. I'll go scan this one first, I think, people. Yeah, why not? Travel. Not in my ship, but apparently I can I do that. For you. Do you? And I'll get it off you in a second, Barrett. Let's just give it a quick scan. Extreme environments, you say. Okay, right. And I want the light side of the planet. I'm going around here. There's only two resources to be had here. I'll just slap it there, mate. Okay, cool. Okay, well, this is very moony moony. I mean, it's a planet, but it, it looks more like a moon. So we've got this aluminium there. Now we've just got to find helium three. So I found the first one as a deposit in the ground. Is that, is that also aluminium? It is, isn't it? Yes, and that one's aluminiums. Right, well, you know what? It'll probably be the best bet. So I, if I just go to my map like so, boom. And I just land where the other resource is, helium free. Just put it slap bang in a green area like that. I should be surrounded by the stuff. Okay, well, I think I've spotted it just there. I'm near to it. Just need to get under the 50 meter range. And that'll be this planet done. There you go. 100% surveyed, mate. So all that's left now is moons in this system. I guess. So we've got three moons to go. None of them look particularly that interesting. Now we'll travel there, I guess. And travel. And uh, I'll scan it, I'll land, and I'll show you what the resources hey. look like. Now we'll have landed here. We've got ourselves aluminium in the ground there. Pretty darn nice. Okay, so that's aluminium found. Now I just need to find the one star one and the other resource, which is helium three yet again. Okay. Not that guy on that rock. I'll let you know when I find the other blues. Yeah, jumps. Well, it looks like I found one of the other rocks, and this is the beryllium. Chicka boom! And helium free is usually quite a large rock. It's very jagged, and I think I spotted it. There it is, right there. Righto. I do find that jumping up in the air helps quite a lot in finding resources, people. Righto. Done. We're one hundred percent. Oh no, we've got to find a point of interest on this planet too. Let's head to that. Okay, we've arrived at Kota at this geological feature. Now, let's have a look see if we can find what we need to scan. Done! We're 100% scanned on this one. I guess. Pretty nice. Cool. So that's that moon done. What about this one over here? Okay, they're all called Bloody Tolomain. That, that makes it... Oh, my days. Right, well, we'll go there then. Sweet. Um, yeah, travel there. Tolomain A, B, C, D, E, F, G, E. Oops. And yes. And yeah. You have to pay a, press a whole hey, combo of buttons. You might want this. Yeah, you keep saying that and I keep ignoring you. Um, I, I will sort that out in a second, mate. Let's scan this one. Uh, we go around to the light side and stick it just there. There's only three resources to be had. Will this one have a point of interest? We'll wait and see. Your landing skills never cease to impress. I know. I'm freaking awesome. Right, well, we'll exit out anyway. And I'll go see what Barrett has to give to me. Let's go and have a look. I don't know what Barrett gives. I mean, Sarah gives plant stuff. My my um Doring fan gives me some most Lay random stuff. Uh hold on. You said you had something for me and now you don't. Okay. Right. Alright, fine. Weird. Alright, so there's our first resource right here. It's beryllium yet again. Okay, well this is like groundhog freaking day. I'm not gonna lie. More beryllium in the ground. Right, well, I can spot a blue just over there on the hill. Doesn't look like we've got to get a point of interest on this one, though, people. Scan. 
I guess. That one's just gone green as well. So the last one we've got remaining, what's the last to remain? Helium free. So it's one of the bigger jagged sort of looking rocks again, people. Where are you, Helium 3? I'll find him. I'll let you know when. It looks like Helium 3 is all around me right now. Boom! We're done. I guess. Okay. Right, well, that's that one done. We've just got one more moon left to do, which is this one right here. I did do 100% on that one, haven't I? Yeah. It's just weird how some have got three dots on. What's that all about? Right, anyway, let's go here. Boom! And, uh, yeah, we're going to travel there. Yes, please. X. He just said he's got something for me again. All right. Um, I'm not too sure how to go. Oh, fudging heck. I'm not too sure how to go inside my ship from this. This mode right now. No, oh, sod it. Okay. Um, there we are. Scan. And I'm going to be putting it right there, I guess. And X. Maybe he will give me it inside of the ship, so rather than exit, maybe I should just get up and go talk to him, find out what Barrett's got for me. Because when we go out on the planet, it's like, no, haven't got it anymore. Too late. Okay, so get up. All right, Barrett, you've just cost me two loading screens and a little cutscene, so yeah, this better be good. Holy fudge, Barrett. What the fudge have you done? Okay. Here, this is for you. Oh, right, great. Um, for me, thank you. Yes, of course it's for you. Anyway, I this figured you might creepy. have a use for it. Um, I got some ideas. I bet you do. And if not, well, you can always try to sell it. I don't know what he's given me here. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Well, thank you. Grilled cheese sandwich. I got a grilled cheese sandwich from Barrett. Do you need anything? Your clothes cleaned, your boots polished, your mirror shined. See, now that's a proper gift, isn't it? You know? Freaking heck yes. Right, well, let's go on now. Righto. Has this replenished itself? No. Okay, cool. Right, so I'll just land on the night side of this one. This is the last one to do. There's only two resources. Oh, and a point of interest. Right, well, that point of interest is like 1,000 meters away. Making good progress away. here with these scans. I know, right? And look, there's the last rock anyway. But I've still got to run 1,000 meters to that point of interest. Fun times, huh? Yeah, there's times like this that you wish there was ground vehicles like a biker scout or something. <laughs> Heck yes. Anyway, I'll see you when I get there in three days' time. Okay, well, it looks like I've arrived at this point of interest, and I'm not sure this is one that I've seen before. Very cool. Let's have a little look. See, it might be when I get on top of this hill. I mean, they do tend to change colour. Sometimes configuration, very lightly. Oh, yes, I've seen this one before. This is just an underhang. And there's never anything to scan here. Hmm, saying that, what's that? That's just a resource I can pick up. Cobalt. Yeah. Okay, um, that didn't go too swimmingly well, uh, which means I've got to find another point of interest. That one just didn't do it for me, people. Okay, any other points of interest? Probably not. Dang it, there's a cave. Oh, hold on. There's a point of interest over there. Ah, 600 meters that way. We'll go to that one. That looks like one that's scannable. Okay, well, it's that time for 30 years. So here we go. This is my first Pictia that I took. Here's two creatures battling with one another. Pokemon style. And then there's this one with me getting whipped in the face by a giant bird just as a freaking Terramorph went to bite me as well. Double bitten. Then there's this one. I just thought that had pretty darn Juno Sequa. Oh yeah, it's like these raptor turtles. Very cool. Then this one with the raptor turtle squaring up against one of those saber cats. Oh, okay, girls, put it on, sweet. Oh, and that's all the pictures I took. They're all my pictures, people. I hope you like my pictures. Well, it's like we've arrived, Decated. That's a sad feature. Let's scan that rock. That's probably a second one to be scanned. Nope, that's it. We're done. I think I've completely scanned, Decated. The whole of this. Let's see if we can just um, fast travel back to my old ship, shall we? Like yes, fast travel back. We'll hit on up my scan desk 
And we'll see how we're doing on said scan desk people, of course. Okay, let's, uh, let's get up. I do love this animation though. I'm not so keen on my on my suit. Yeah, thinking about changing back to my old space I suit. I heard you're fluent in over two dozen verbal and body languages. I am indeed. Remarkable. I know I am. Okay, let's head on over then. Let's hit this up. So, I think we've now hundred. Yes, it's a hundred percent complete. We've completed Taylor Man. There goes. Dandelion and done, people inside of the view of us. I know, it's freaking awesome. So that's that whole system scanned, scandicated people inside the view of us. I might go and sell this scan data over at the eye before I move on, get a bit of moolah, go buy myself some laser cartridges for my gun, so at least I've got ammo. I'll do that in my own time, though, people. You guys have been awesome. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.